So, this right here is Mount Elbert, and we've been staring at it from our campsite for a week. It's the tallest mountain in Colorado, and it's the second tallest in the lower 48. Tomorrow, we're climbing to the top. It's just a little after five, and it's raining, and the parking lot is full. This morning, I did, first of all, I, I didn't sleep at all last night, and so I heard everybody driving down the road this morning coming to the parking lot, and I told Mary Catherine when we got up, I was like, we have to go because the parking lot's gonna be full, and we literally, we're not in the parking lot, we're just outside the parking lot on the road, and we got one of the last spaces. This truck in front of us got the last space, but it's gonna be great. I'm getting the last layers on. How about these though? We haven't touched these since the Grand Canyon trip. Yeah, and this thing's bent. Just a second ago, Mary Catherine accidentally took the safety off of her bear spray. It came off really easily. It was terrifying. You ready to go? I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Let's go. All right, lights on. Lights out. It's 6.24 a.m. We can see our breath. I think it's like four and a half miles to the top. Here we go. Be super careful on the rocks. <laughs> All right, Continental Divide Trail to the right. This is really confusing. Colorado Trail and Elbert to the left. I think. What do you see? What do you see, Albert? It's written on the left uh, there. Oh, okay, cool. To the left we'll go. Yeah. North Albert Creek Trailhead, that way. All right, into the wild we go. It's getting steeper. It's getting brighter. whopping 0.29 miles into this hike and we've already shed layers. It's warming up quickly out here. I'm already down to my base layer. Hope it doesn't get any warmer. <laughs> We're just taking it slow and steady. TJ is our pacer, which is a good thing because I would start us too fast and then we'd be worn out. We do want to make it to the top, but we've given ourselves a time limit and no matter where we are at that time, we're turning around. So hopefully we're at the top. Um, if not, we're still having a lot of fun. This is awesome. a good place. Time for a snack and water break. Oh gosh. What? The PB and J's. Are they gonna be a mess? Yep. That's okay. Snack number one, applesauce. How is it? It's great. Yeah. These are one of our favorite snacks during ragbri, which is why I brought them. Good decision. We stopped for long enough that we got cold again, so we've got to get moving. I think that's Leadville. You can't see it on the camera. There's no way you can see it. There's yeah. A, there's a little town right there. I think it's Leadville too, and a guy that just came up stopped and he said the same thing. All right, let's keep moving. Just over a mile in, my watch says we've gained 517 feet, which I hope is not accurate, because <laughs> if it is, that means it's gonna get really steep here in just a little while. Other than that, I feel great, and I'm having a lot of fun. So after our little snack break, the trail has flattened off significantly, which is pretty nice. I think we're going downhill now, but that just means we're gonna have to go uphill pretty soon. Oh, and I'm feeling great. <laughs> As the official pacer of the Albert Mountain hike. Mount Albert. As the official pacer of the Mount Albert hike, 
trying to keep us around one mile an hour. That way it'll take us about four and a half hours to get to the end of the trail. So far, mile one was done in about 49 minutes. We're trying to go slow so that we don't get altitude sickness. We've been in the Leadville area for about a week. We've also just, you know, grown up at basically sea level. So it's really important to avoid altitude sickness so that we can do the whole thing. Slow and steady wins the- Mountain. Mountain. <laughs> First from the alarm went off this morning. I was not sure. I wanted to get up. I was like, hmm, I don't want to do this. Why are we doing this? But now I'm really glad we are. And I knew I would be. We'll sleep extra good tonight. These people just passed us and they are running. Literally running up the mountain. Good that's, for them. Yeah, that's awesome for them. That's crazy though. I've got to put my gloves back on because now that we're basically going slightly downhill, I'm getting cold again. It was flat for a while and it has gotten steep again. Colorado Trail, that way. Mount Elbert Trail, that way. Why does this keep happening? I forgot to do a mile two update. We're at like just past two and a quarter and uh, feeling good, really out of breath because it uh, got really steep, but still feel really good. And I'm really glad it's not any warmer than it is. <sighs> I'm feeling good too. I had to stop to pee, but uh, I'm good after that. He was, he was getting miserable. These are the joys of hiking with, oh gosh, with cameras. It's recording. No, it's not. Nothing's happening on the screen. It's recording. I can see the light. It's blinking, but the time is not going up and nothing's happening. Huh. I can't stop it. I can't okay. turn it off. Okay. It's kind of frustrating. These are GoPro Hero 10s. And for the amount of money you pay for them, they should work. But we had to do what Mary Catherine just did quite often because the cameras just freeze up, they glitch up. It's the latest firmware. I just saw where they released the GoPro Hero 11. And I feel like they should fix their current model before they start releasing new stuff. But that's just me. I'm sure the 11 will be glitchy too. It is true. When we did Ragbri, we were constantly doing what I just did with the GoPros because they just freeze up. It's very frustrating. Anyway. We got a caution sign here. Trail crew working ahead. Watch for falling rocks. Stay on trail. Protect plants. Make your presence known. We're at two and a half miles. We're gonna stop and eat something. I think we're gonna do PB and J. We should be a little over halfway to the top by now. Distance wise, we're a little over halfway to the top. I don't think we're halfway elevation wise, so we'll see. It's getting really steep, but it's a good thing we did our first two and a half miles in two hours and eight minutes, which means we were moving faster than we planned because we are slowing down so that we can make it to the top. Uh, our PB&J got squished a little and it is a mess. Look at this. Whew. What do you think? It still tastes fine. It still tastes like a PB&J. I ate that whole sandwich, it was gross, but I knew it was gonna be good for me. I, did I, couldn't, anyway. I couldn't eat mine. I opted for trail mix and some chips instead, so. All right. Shall we? Let's go. I keep telling myself, we'll only be this out of breath on the way up. And on the way down, it is a different challenge. And I know a lot of people think down is harder, but I prefer down. My legs can handle that. So weird. He's a weirdo. 
Everybody I know would rather hike up than down. This girl even passed us earlier and was like, I'm already dreading the downhill. I hike this trail back home with one of my friends a lot. She's always like waiting on me on our way up. But then on the way down, we get to the bottom and she's like, my legs are shaking and I'm fine. So, you know, we just have different strengths. We are nearing the end of the tree line, which is exciting and also kind of crazy. But I think the views are about to get really awesome. We're catching our first glimpse of the peak of Mount Albert. Actually, I did read online there are some false peaks, so part of me is starting to question if that's really the top or not. Either way, it's close to it if it's not the top. TJ's pacing us and doing a fantastic job. I've gotten in front of him a few times and just never been able to find like a good steady pace, but every time he's in front, he sets us at a really good pace, like we can keep going. We're not too out of breath and we can keep going. Good job. She thinks I'm doing a good job. I'm thankful that he is here to do that and for other reasons. I'm thankful for you for a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> three miles we're about to clear the tree line it feels like there's forever to go it's really steep between here and there taking a little break for some water. It's steep, but the views are unimaginable. I gotta put my glove back on, because it's getting cold again. The higher up we go, this is amazing. I had to put my sweatshirt back on because it's getting colder because we're climbing. It's a weird mixture of like you sweat a little, but then you're freezing. Um, also, I haven't mentioned yet, but I'm wearing two pairs of pants and I am so grateful. That I made that decision. I thought I might shed one of them at some point. Definitely not. Mary Catherine stays cold though, like all the time. All the time. That's not untrue. It's just so incredibly steep here. We're doing it, just slowly. Better than not at all. Making it, slowly but surely, making it. out that this summit we've been looking at is a false summit we'll go to the other side to actually reach the summit but nobody can seem to agree on how far it is and by nobody can agree I mean the internet is different than what this person which just passed said and what that person said is different than a diff what a different person said I really hit a mental wall and I don't know how much further we have. Like we did the research and we knew how far we had to go. And people just said it's actually like a mile further. Yeah, I don't have my chapstick. My lips are really chapped. Got it. And we're on a time frame. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Nobody's behind us. 
Oh, good God. It's really windy. I don't know if you can tell. We stopped on this flat piece of land to eat a snack because energies are starting to run a little low. And this is what we've got ahead of us. <coughs> this right here is a false peak. We're just trying to get around it at this point. See what's on the other side. We're on the part of the trail that is the steepest according to the map. The lines are really close together. And when we get to the other side of the steep part, we're not to the top just yet. We're pretty close, but the line spread out quite a bit, so it shouldn't be near as steep. And I am so ready for that. There's no air up here. None. I forgot to give a mile four update. We're like four and a third miles in. I feel like I physically can do it. But mentally I'm really discouraged right now because I just don't know how far it is. We've heard the internet said one thing, other people are saying another thing. It looks like it's different, so that's discouraging. Hard mentally. This is it. This is the hardest part right here. And it's not even the end. This is so intense. You can't even see all of what we we have hiked because it's so steep. The trail just kind of disappears. Yeah. It's just rocks. So hard to know where to go. We can see the second fall summit now. It's right there. Okay, not that rock, but do you see that other one? Like, you see this one right here? Yeah. Go straight up. See it? Yeah. Kind of rectangle ish. Yes, she is. That's the next point. This is the rock you were talking about, right? Yeah. Which way do we go? That way or this way? Either. Okay. There's a little ledge, ridge. Yeah. How is this possible? Just a few steps and I'm winded. Okay, next rock. The rock with a little grass by it. I don't know what this rock is. There's a lot of rocks. A lot of rock walls next. Holy moly. Everybody we passed on that part said it was by far the hardest. The next part's kind of steep, but it's not as rocky apparently. It feels so far away. It's right there. It's right there. Or at least that's the, the last fall summit. Yeah, and everyone says the real summit is not far on the other side. And not very much higher. So close. So close. Still really glad we're doing this but still never want to do it again. <laughs> I see it. You can actually see it. That's it. We made it! 
We love you. You did it. Yeah, I did. You did it. There it is. Right there. Not Albert. You made it. Wow. There's where we've been camping? Yeah. We hiked to the tallest mountain in Colorado. This is it. We did it. Oh. Not spending a lot of time up here because we do have to get down, but wow. I doubted our ability. I'll be honest, my ability mostly. And I'm just so proud and I'm so glad we did it. I feel literally on top of the world, kind of because we are. Yeah. All right, but now we got to get down the mountain. Um, hopefully faster, a lot faster than we got up. Let's go. We started 2022 with the determination to do more hard things, things that will push our bodies to the limit and then a little bit further. Hiking Mount Elbert was the hardest thing we have done all year, no doubt about it. Not only was it our first 14er, but it's where we found out that as individuals, we are capable of so much more than we think we are and that the gain is worth the pain. We made it down the second fall summit. We're now on top of the first fall summit. We have some really steep downhill now. But after that, it's gonna be a really nice hike to the end. To be totally transparent, it was not a really nice hike to the end. Going down was almost as difficult as going up. Our bodies and minds were worn out and we ran out of daylight and hiked the last couple of miles in the dark. Going up, it was nice to see other people, but coming down, we were completely alone. It was a learning experience that we will never forget. I've never been so happy to see the van. When we got back to the van, we realized that someone had ran into our trailer basket and broke it. That's broken. Feeling completely defeated, TJ rigged up a temporary fix and we were headed back to Leadville to find a warm dinner. The mountain wore us down, but in the end, we conquered.